Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be rebuilding the trim hardware back on this Cheetah, which is exactly the same as on the Tiger, and very similar principles apply to the um, Traveler and the AA1C. Uh, it consists of a fixed nut down here at the bottom. That is your pivot. And then you have another set that rolls and slides within the trim channel itself. We're going to be taking both of those apart and replacing all the hardware with stainless steel with the exception of the clevis bolt, which has to be structural steel because it's in a shear capacity. Stand by. Okay, we've disassembled, and the assembly is basically an AN23-8 clevis bolt, an AN960-10 washer, and then an AN320-3 castle nut with a cotter pin through it. But if you look at this particular clevis bolt, there's a little groove right there which is not in a new one. This clevis bolt, again, is in a sheer capacity, so it's constantly being forced at by two different opposing pieces of metal, and it will wear. And this one's wore down to like 43 thousandths. Um, that's almost 40% of the diameter of the bolt. Now, it wasn't going to fail anytime soon, but it's been clear that nobody has checked this uh, hardware in quite a while. So we're going to be replacing with new, and then we'll put this one back together after cleaning, and then we'll attack the really complicated one, the trim arm itself. Stand by. Now you can see we've already reinstalled it, but the stack is nothing more than a new clevis bolt, um, an AN960C10 um, stainless steel washer, and a AN320C3 castle nut. So that's what goes here. This one's for the other side. All we have left to do is install the stainless steel cotter pin. And we're using stainless steel because this is exposed to the weather all the time. Even, even for the airplanes that are kept in a hangar, it's still a good idea to use stainless steel, but when you're out in the weather in that way it protects it. Um, we'll be back in a minute to attack this bad boy. Okay, we've taken apart um, <clears throat> the other side, and what you have is you have the clevis bolt on the outside, followed by an AN960-3 washer, two of the four uh, 960 uh, AN960-416 washers, um, then you have these two little special bushings and these are very expensive. They're like $40 a piece from Fletcher. They're specialized steel, close tolerance. One goes inside the other. The larger one rolls on the outside. The inner one goes through and allows it to roll in here, followed by a spacing washer inside uh, the two pieces here, and then on the outside a, a, a 960 10L, followed by the castle nut that we're used to seeing, and then a cotter pin. We're going to go clean all this up, replace all the hardware, except for the clevis bolt and the specialized bushings with stainless steel and be back for reassembly. Okay, so we clean these two little specialized bearings and they go like that and I'm just going to take the new clevis bolt and then the AN97416, it fits over and helps hold it in this groove. So the outer bearing, oops, putting them in backwards, so they can ride in that channel and roll. Um, they were pretty dirty. This was two ounces of 100 low lead. It was perfectly clear when I just put those two small little bearings in there and cleaned them. So they've obviously been over lubricated. Uh, the clevis bolt was in pretty bad shape. So again, we're just going to go ahead and reassemble now with all new hardware. We're using an AN970-4 washer. And we want to make sure we keep our stacks right. making sure that everything cinches in to its place. Okay, and then we have to get the spacing washer on the inside. This is always the tricky bit. There we go. Now we're all the way seated so that you can see when we put pressure, this washer still spins. And now all we have to do is add the proper stack to the outside so that our castle nut spins up. And we'll need a thin one in there too. Yep. Okay. 
And so now we have it reassembled, it spins, and it will travel. And all we down to need is put the cotter pin in. So this can, you know, this finishes up doing the trim. We'll do the same thing for the other side. But the stainless steel hardware, it's about 40% more expensive. You're only looking at a couple dollars worth of hardware back here, and uh, it'll last for years and years. Uh, we'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilots YouTube channel. Directly supports the Grumman Pilots Association, your GPA. Have a fun day flying your Grumman. Thanks for watching.